I was going to say, it's a, it's, so it's all you, basically. Mm -hmm. I understand there's some firsts in there. There's one. Oh, one all right. So <laughs> do I need to guess, or can I just kind of <laughs> throw some out there? Because I'm trying to think. I mean, for what I've seen, you've pretty much tackled a lot of the cinematic history parts. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what's left in the bag? <laughs> I did. I'm Tom Naylor. Hanging out with porn stars and showgirls is fucking awesome. But how much do we really know about them? Join me on the Side Piece Podcast where we sit down with them and hear some of the craziest stories from inside the industry. I look forward to seeing you. And follow me on the Side Piece Podcast. All right, everybody. Welcome to the Side Piece Podcast. My guest this time is going to be the Jennifer White. Hello. Jennifer. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are good, you? Good, good. Good to see you. Good to see it's you. It's been a while. I know. Last time I saw you, it was August in Las Vegas. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stripper convention. At what, 5 a.m. I saw you? <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, little story behind that. When I saw you, I had just gotten back to the bar and truth be told, I was running around with Portuguese prostitutes, I think. Oh my God. Who, yeah, they were offering me cocaine to stay out with them. And I said, I'm going to watch you do cocaine for the half hour. And if you're not dead, I might try it. Smart. I still didn't try it. But, uh, but by the time I saw you, I was pretty worn out. Really? And I think it was you, Katie Morgan. Um, I wish I could remember the redheaded girl's name. Lauren. Yes. Phillips. God damn, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She's fantastic. I've been trying to get her to come here. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see. Um, God, that was quick. You've got to be my password partner. <laughs> sure, match. It doesn't game. work 100% of the time. So. This is your personal camera? Oh, yeah. That's, this one? Yeah, that's right. We don't have a third camera. Okay. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> um, yeah, Lauren. She's pretty cool. That was my first. I've talked to her, but that was my first interaction like physically with her. Mm -hmm. um, she's a big girl. Yeah. <laughs> that tiny little waist. Yes. With curves. Oh, my God. With a lot of latex. <laughs> she wears it so well, though. <laughs> <laughs> so what were, what was keeping you up at 5 a.m.? <laughs> the award show. That's <laughs> it. Because <laughs> My I ass would be in bed, for sure. Well, you had just driven in from L.A.? Is that what it was? So I it was the so. day before the award show? Oh, yeah. Okay. That was. That's what it was. So I was just mingling. That's a, now, how long of a drive is that for you? Like, if you're coming in from L.A.? Takes three, your, four, three well, that's hours? that's not that bad. Mm -hmm. That's still a lot to get there and then start partying and then... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Four but hours of driving and then just set the bar and start. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Especially when you don't party it. anymore, you're like... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. Let's <laughs> get to that way. later. <laughs> that's right. I didn't... I, that's a question I almost missed. Um, <laughs> yeah, every time I went back to my room, regretfully, my, the elevators from my room were right next to that bar. Mm -hmm. And every time I came back through, somebody put a fucking drink up on the bar for me. Whether it was 8 a.m., 10 in the afternoon, uh, 2 a.m., mm -hmm. there was a glass of bourbon somewhere sitting. And one of the culprits, uh, I won't name him, but he's always around at all the shows. Um, every time I came in, he had a different drink. I said, dude, I haven't even had breakfast. And he's like, it is breakfast. I'm like, okay. <laughs> 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 I will do four days of this, this nonsense. <laughs> so, um, so tell me about, um, well, let's start off there where we had a segue. Um, talking about being sober. Mm -hmm. I understand. And um, Let me ask you this as a personal question. Coming from where you did with addiction or with, was it drugs and alcohol abuse? Um, drugs. Drugs? Mm -hmm. What would you call that? Your proudest moment in life or like one of those retribution moments where you just kind of, you grew or? Yeah, I, I mean, on the drugs, that was obviously very bad times. Not a good time in my life, but on the other side of it, I'm just, just so much more emotionally mature, so much more, yeah. I, I have so much more knowledge about myself and just, uh, it's very, very, very proud moment for me i'm sure i was going to ask you i know there was a little joke beside when we were talking in the back mm -hmm. um i guess your membership was denied to the uh, 27 club yeah what the hell <laughs> <laughs> so was, that's a good thing i know nobody so wants good. that membership <laughs> yeah no i really i was fully convinced that i was going to be part of the 27 club for sure well we're glad you're not uh, me too you, you look fantastic i mean i'll tell you every time i've seen you you just get better and better thank um, you 
I know from one of my first encounters with you years ago now, it has actually been years, mm -hmm. uh, was back in Pittsburgh, and um, we were ready to go out to dinner, and usually we didn't take features out to dinner then. Mm -hmm. And I remember Albert saying, I'm hungry, let's just go eat. And, and I don't know where you were or something was happening, and he said, just tell the feature she's coming to dinner. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we took you to Alla Familia, mm -hmm. this Italian restaurant up on the top of Mount Washington. And I distinctly remember you in a white dress. And I couldn't remember the whole story. Maybe you can enlighten us. But I know there was no underwear involved. No. <laughs> How could there be? The slit was like up to here. <laughs> <laughs> well, they had an open kitchen. I don't know if you were fully aware, but no one was getting food for a while. Yeah. Because everyone, I think, was staring at your pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it might have been intentional. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but I noticed there was no noise for a couple moments. And then everyone realized. They said, oh, that's Jennifer White. Like, oh, she's got no underwear on. <laughs> and so recently when I was back, one of the chefs there asked me, he said, whatever happened to that woman with the white dress? And I was like, she's coming to town. <laughs> I made an impression. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. You stayed on his mind. I guess not a lot of very pr attractive women come into the restaurant. With no underpants. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we'll have to take a trip there one day again. Totally. <laughs> Put you it was in really good food. <laughs> I remember it was good food. Yeah, no, they do a great mm -hmm. job. Mm -hmm. um, I love that place. I actually miss it. Yeah. Um, so tell me, <clears throat> what's next? Um, since I haven't seen you and we haven't really talked, I mean, the only time that I've seen you is at award shows, and that's really just kind of play playing around talking and, you know, running around trying to avoid people mm -hmm. or, or finding people that help you avoid other people. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so tell me, you're going to do, and I'm not familiar with these, the XRCO Awards. You're hosting? Yes. So okay. I just found out that I'm hosting that. Um, that's going to be in May. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's one of the smaller award shows, but it's still very re reputable. And yeah, now it's exciting. Now, where do they do that? In Vegas as well? Uh, in LA. Oh, they do it in LA. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, excuse me, I'm going to just burp right live right in front of you. Bless you. The fart's next. Just relax. Cool. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> so, um, so tell me, that award show, um, what does that look like? Is that is it kind of like the AVNs on a small scale, or is it much? It's a little more um, intimate? Um, I'd say it's accurate, like AVN on a small scale. Oh, cool. But cool. without the convention. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, I know <coughs> we do the expo. What is it? The... Uh, Exotica and that I mean I I like that show but it's it's definitely different mm -hmm. it's like a free-flowing show right <laughs> to say the least um, my dancers my entertainers they love doing it um, but uh, I don't know how the stars feel about all the shows like when they get there because um, usually they're in these small remote areas so you fly in and you're basically stuck in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't do a whole lot of the exoticas. No. Um, I'll do like Miami every once in a while, and New Jersey. Those are like the big ones. Uh, but definitely AVN and uh, Expos do those for the conventions. Yeah. Every now, which year. one of you had the best experience at? Like, what the, uh, like a, what event did uh, the most for you? This past AVN was crazy for was me it? i yeah i was signing for evil angel for my first time and like the line was like around the booth the whole time for good. me hey that's cool I'm like you guys are making me look so good thank you that's what you want <laughs> yes yeah they um i wish i would have gone there was um i know there was a, a bunch of controversy over like the room rates mm -hmm. and then the flights um flights were like 300 and something more per, you know per flight and mm -hmm. then the rooms were all like three and five hundred mm -hmm. so i opted not to go it looked like a five thousand dollar adventure yeah to, to get out there <laughs> yeah it was expensive was it mm -hmm. uh, well that's good though it seems like it was worth it to you yeah it was for now, sure talking about that you said evil angel i understand you what signed on for a showcase or you finished a showcase for them yeah just finished like literally the last week oh. shot the last scene so tell me what is a showcase for those of us that don't know what a showcase is so it's a like full DVD movie with four scenes, usually sometimes five, um, usually featuring the same girl. Okay. Um, doing different acts. 
I was going to say, it's, a, it's, so it's all you, basically. Mm -hmm. And um, I understand there's some firsts in there. There's one. Oh, one all right. So <laughs> do I need to guess, or can I just kind of <laughs> throw some out there? Because I'm trying to think. I mean, for what I've seen, you've pretty much tackled a lot of the cinematic history parts. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what's left in the bag? <laughs> so I did my first double anal. Oh, okay. Yeah, that. It was intense. <laughs> I, I could imagine. Yeah. Actually, I can't imagine. No, no, I can't. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. um, so tell me, what was that? I mean, was that something you wanted to do, or was that something that was just like a must? Like that was, that was the next level. Right. I, yeah, I was actually kind of against it for a while. I was like, one dick just seems like enough in there. You know? uh, see, I want to be in that room when they're <laughs> expressing like how, the, how what the contract's going to look like, and they say like, it's double A or nothing, bitch. Right. <laughs> 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 but honestly just like the being slutty part of it yeah that part attracted to me to wanting to try it mm. okay i was gonna ask you if that was like that was the interpersonal you know sex demon yeah of. yeah <laughs> i can see that that's yeah. cool mm -hmm. no that makes it worth it i mean i think everybody in your business has to be somewhat into it mm -hmm. and you know somewhere deep inside you dig deep for that character <laughs> totally. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me ask you, when you're doing scenes like that, how many times, I mean, is there a couple takes to it, or is it just like a one and done, or, do you, or is it like an all day? It's not an all day ordeal. It's like, um, gosh, I get there around, I don't know, 10 a.m., get out of makeup, and like noon, I'm out of there by 4. That's not bad. But yeah, but the sex itself is... 30 minutes 40 yeah now do you talk to your co-stars before you get on set or is it kind of like a closed thing you you just meet or do you or do you know them well um this particular scene i knew the guys oh okay that makes it easier right but um something that's been pretty prevalent lately is everyone making the effort to kind of talk about consent and what you're into what you're not into you know all that kind of stuff oh, to God. make the scene go smoother no that's better on my personal level i never have that kind of time i'm like it's in the alley in 10 minutes or it's like, it's very clinical oh, I gotta go. <laughs> it's like it's not hot but like it needs to be said <laughs> yeah but hey that's good you know because yeah. i've talked to a lot of women in the business that say that things occur on set that they did not consent to or that things got a little further out of control than they wanted. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess that those boundaries do need to be expressed a little bit better. Yeah. You know, that, that's good. Yeah. Now, do they ever have, do the men ever have boundaries or is it mainly the female performers? They do, they have boundaries. Do they? Yeah. Okay, I'm wa I always wondered. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's unusual. I would always think that they would be kind of non-caring. <laughs> some are, yeah. but some of them have sensitive balls, you know, you can't really. Oh. play with those two rough <laughs> <laughs> some of them don't want their booty holes licked you know shane which one don't you want your balls tickled or your asshole licked <laughs> 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 all right we'll find what you don't want to do later soon <laughs> 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 shane's, shane's gonna join us on the podcast more mm -hmm. so we have some uh like three-way interaction cool. um so uh, we're getting him used to it now so the third camera will come. Cool. <laughs> um, so talking about sex partners, do you have any pets, uh, human or uh, animal? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have a dog and a cat. You do? <laughs> yeah. Now, are any of them new members of the family? or? Yes, my puppy he just turned a year, and he's so precious. <laughs> His name is Ghost. He's a husky German Shepherd, and he's all white, and he's super cute. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I like German Shepherds. I grew up with them. Yeah. I'm partial to them. Yeah. I mean, I've had greyhounds now as an adult. Um, now I have a black lab, and it's my house is just like a turmoil all day. Yeah. Yeah. It's I come into just fighting and. How old? Uh, but they're one's three and one's two now. Okay. So they're still like kids. Yeah, still puppy brain. Yeah and uh it's all day attention seekers but also just wild out of control are they talkers oh yeah and the greyhound usually 
Usually they don't do much, but the Black Lab, I think, has provoked him to be, you know, vocal. Mm. So, but he's horny as fuck all the time. <laughs> Just straight up horny constantly. <laughs> you got to get him an oversized stuffed animal. Yeah. And yeah. she <laughs> she knows it because she works it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's on him all day long. <laughs> so they have a good camaraderie going. <laughs> <laughs> so she humps things. Oh, she's all over. Okay. I don't know if she gets that from my husband. <laughs> or if that's because you know, I don't know what goes on when I'm not home, but I know when I get home, it's it's definitely a battle. The sex is going, and she's <laughs> dominant. Yeah, so. <laughs> you gotta set up a ring camera. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's uh, well, I'm afraid of what all I'd see. <laughs> True, <laughs> valid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I might not want to know what goes on. <laughs> um, uh, maybe when I was younger, I might want to know more. <laughs> but uh, talking about houses. Um, I understand you're in the middle of a remodel, or are you at the end of a remodel? Yes, so I'm like halfway. Halfway? Yeah, so I bought my house like 10 years ago-ish, and just within the last few months I've done two bathrooms, and the kitchen is almost finished. Okay, so, Yeah. cool. Um, the last guest we talked about um, kitchens actually about how the heist is never really proper for all the sex scenes. Yeah. So are your counters sex scene heist or are they normal? <laughs> They're the lower of <laughs> the, the two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna my next remodel I'm gonna have to remember that. <laughs> yep. Because <laughs> I used to have to get a box to, to You're tall. To perform <laughs> properly <laughs> on, the, on the counter. <laughs> um a uh, couple more things, and excuse me, it's just allergy season, and Same. it's Cherry Blossom Festival here in the city. So not only am I allergic to tourists, but I'm allergic to all the, the blossoms going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so speaking of which, did you get to see any of the cherry blossoms? I see you. You're almost uh, in cherry blossom attire. Yes. <laughs> I didn't, um, I mean, last night we passed by a few, but yeah. it's probably so much better. You know, tonight what we'll do, we'll new, when we're leaving, I'll take you through there to the basin. And we'll take a look real quick. Cool. Um, so you'll be able to at least see them a little. Yeah. Or on the way to the airport, we'll do it. Cool. Uh, we'll take a spin in the daylight. Yay. Um, you also have something that I've been noticing. Hmm. I was going to ask you. Are those new breasts I see? That's what I thought you were pointing out. and Not cherry blossoms. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be coy and nice and gentlemanly. And like titties? I could care less about the sweater. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so how new are they? Uh, they just had their first birthday. Oh, good, so good. So I got them with my puppy. Oh. <laughs> Pets and tits. Yes. <laughs> it's a celebration. <laughs> um, so tell me also, what's going on in uh, just in Jennifer's life right now? What are, you, what are you looking forward to? What's happening? What's happening? Um, God, I've just got a lot going on right now. Lots of bookings, lots of momentum. Yeah. Good, good. Which are I you work? working towards a specific goal or do you are you just kind of throwing it out there right now and seeing what happens? I think I should win performer of the year. There you go. Once. I was, all right. At least see? once. <laughs> yeah. I, I think you deserve it. it at this point. I mean seriously. Fourteen years, I earned it. <laughs> I know. I'm never gonna give away your age, but I'm always shocked when I hear it. Because you look fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Well, what did you say? Oh. Oh shit. Mhm. Hmm. See, you're due. Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. You're overdue. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that was going to be your goal this this next year. Mhm. Mm yeah. Totally. Um, and you know, let me ask you, what's the criteria to, to win? I mean, what do you what do you think it takes? You have to have. Uh, I mean, it's not an, ex an exact number, but yeah. my goal is to have like 15 professional scenes out a month. Okay. And That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And um, what else? You have to... God, I forgot to do this this last round. So you have to actually remember to nominate yourself for a nomination. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's <laughs> That's always good. Yes. Don't worry, my ego's there. I'm the first one in line. <laughs> Me. <laughs> but yeah. um, and what does that mean to you if you win? Um, that's a career goal, but is that is that kind of like the crowning moment, or do you? Is there more out there after that? 
Um, I know, it's a deep question. I mean, I'd like to get to like the top 0.01% on OnlyFans, and I feel like that's kind of how you get there. Yeah. Now, that content that you, you know, obviously you're shooting OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. um, what's shooting that content like? Is that more personal, or is that, or do you do, you do that just purely professional? Uh, it's a mix of both. Okay. It's like, I mean, you don't have a whole professional crew there, so it's a little bit different of an atmosphere. Yeah. Um, it's more fun. <laughs> is what I'll you. say. Is it just more fun? Yeah. It's yeah. just more fun. I would imagine so. It's more just like intimate, like with the person and passionate. I would say there's a little more personal energy. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Um, so what do you want to, what do you want to do with your life after porn? I'm not leaving porn. <laughs> Good. Don't. I will start shooting other people. That's right. I, yeah. th I think there's, uh, there's an end game that's always out there that keeps you in it. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think anybody has to escape it or get out. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I want to talk to you about. I had so many things and then I'm like, okay, so last night your shows, mm -hmm. I mean, let's talk about those. Your shows were great. We had I mean, considering that it was freezing cold here last night and it was raining, mm -hmm. we had great people in the audience for you. But then you also have a, <laughs> I don't want to call him a stalker because he's not a stalker, but he's very fond of you and he seems to travel well with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he occupies quite a bit of your time, which is pretty cool, I guess, because you were not around after your shows. I saw you in the VIP all night. He's so a super fan. That's for good. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we all want. Yes. I, ne I need a super fan. <coughs> Do you? <laughs> yeah, I need one. somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one always buying gifts. <laughs> Gotta get you, get you on OnlyFans. I know. Oh my <laughs> God. Believe me, it's been tried at home. We're still working it out. I, <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that's the only way to do it. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about guests that are like that, though? Like, how do you deal with that? Because um, I noticed even on your feed when I was looking at when we started posting, mm -hmm. you have a couple people that really repost and repost and repost, and then their comments, there's like six to 12 comments. Mm -hmm. Do you basically just ignore those people, or do you just kind of block them out of your mind, or is there a point where you're like, you know, fuck this, I'm good, you know, it's time for you to to go I don't want to deal with you anymore so are you talking about uh, Instagram yeah in general just with, with people that your fan base where they get to be a little more intrusive right I tend to ignore I was gonna figure you're more ladylike <laughs> <laughs> you're more civil <laughs> <laughs> yeah no cuz I uh, if I start to engage with that I because I do actually care yeah it affects me personally like outside of work and outside of you know into my personal life and I don't like that so yeah mm -hmm. well I apologize for all the noise in the background we have people coming into the VIP in and out I can hear the door slamming it's all good. Um, <laughs> so is there anything you you want to know about what we're doing here or what's going on tonight or are you are you fully prepared and ready for another round with with the VIP and the stage I am definitely fully prepared and ready for you, it. You that pole it. was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I was going to ask you. Did mm -hmm. you like the swing pole? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We usually have the lira up, mainly because of the stage and the height of the, the ceilings. Mm -hmm. um, but the swing pole works well because you can actually get some momentum or you can kind of turn it out a little. Yeah. Rather than it being so stationary. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll make sure it's up there for you again tonight. Cool. All right. Well, Jennifer, it's been a pleasure having you. Thank you. Um, I look forward to your shows tonight. And definitely we'll take a swing around the uh, Tidal Basin. Just you and me. Oh, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks a lot, Jennifer. Thank you so Have much. Have a good night. You too. All right. <laughs>